Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are doing well. So guys, in today's video, in this video, I want to talk about Bitcoin going to zero dollars because a lot of people for some odd reason really do believe this is in fact the end for Bitcoin. Okay, we well, you know that right now. Okay, Bitcoin is not looking too good. Let's all admit it here. Okay, even though yes, guys, you know me. Okay, I'm always bullish. Okay, with Bitcoin. I am never bearish. I have not been once bearish with Bitcoin. I have never panicked at all, guys. Okay, ever since right last November, we all know that Bitcoin reached a new all-time high, right? Over ninety thousand dollars here in Australia. Okay, for you guys in America, right, was I believe sixty nine thousand dollars, close to seventy thousand dollars, right? So for us in Australia, guys, Bitcoin's all-time high was in fact ninety one thousand dollars last November. And this was when we were in fact in the bull market, right? <clears throat> And ever since then, guys, last November, we've been going down. We all know this. This ain't anything new, okay? And a lot of people right now are assuming that Bitcoin could potentially go to zero dollars, right? Bitcoin, okay, it's just going to keep going down. This is not the bottom for Bitcoin. And I know that. I totally agree, right? I've been telling you guys this. I've been giving you guys, you know, warnings and a heads up that, yes, Bitcoin and the whole crypto market do have, you know, does have a huge potential of having another crash, Okay. This is not the Bitcoin bottom. I totally agree. But do I see Bitcoin going back down to, you know, zero dollars? No. Okay. Bitcoin will never go to zero dollars. It's impossible. It's really hard for Bitcoin to get to zero dollars. I don't even know why I'm saying that. Like, guys, it's not going to go to zero. People are trying to scare you. Okay. They really are. They're either trying to scare you or they don't know what the hell they are talking about. Because I'm telling you guys this right now. This is not the end for Bitcoin. A lot of people are assuming that this is, in fact, the end for Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to, you know, maybe drop back down to, you know, $20,000 or even $10,000. Yes, that could happen. Okay, yes, it could. But it's really hard, okay, for Bitcoin to get to $0. And it's really hard for Bitcoin to even get to $10,000. It really is, right? Even though, yes, for the past few months, guys, we've been going down a lot, right? And I'm not saying that Bitcoin, right... Um, can't hit ten thousand dollars. Yes, it can, but it's just a really low chance of that happening. Yes, it can happen, but it's just a really low chance. Okay, yes, guys, we are in fact in the bear market. Okay, we are still in the bear market. We have been in the bear market for quite some time now. Obviously, there's a lot of you know extreme fear in the market right now. Obviously, a lot of people are in fact panicking and panic selling and whatnot, right? And this is what is pretty much making the whole market dip right now. Okay, having these dips and crashes. Okay, so guys. <clears throat> I told you guys as many times, okay, whenever Bitcoin and of course the whole crypto market crashes, has a dump, has a dip, okay, we're in the reds, right? It makes me more bullish because that's a buying opportunity right there, okay? It's another huge opportunity to accumulate more at a cheaper price, okay? So I don't care if Bitcoin is dipping back down to $30,000, $20,000, even $10,000. I really do not care, okay? I want Bitcoin to drop at those prices so that way I can buy more accumulate more okay because i know for a fact where bitcoin will be heading in the future it's going to be hitting one hundred thousand dollars it's going to be hitting you know three hundred thousand dollars five hundred thousand dollars eight hundred thousand dollars a million dollars five million dollars ten million dollars and beyond that over the next decades right that's going to happen mark my words okay bitcoin is super undervalued right now and people look at the bitcoin price right now and they think it's too late to invest into bitcoin it is not Okay, it's never too late to invest into Bitcoin, especially right now, guys. Like, look at this. Look how much Bitcoin dipped. At one point, we were over $90,000, guys. Close to $100,000. And that's all the way back down to forty. Okay, so think about it. This is a great time to buy some Bitcoin. But, guys, I would wait patiently, okay, because I feel like Bitcoin will, in fact, have another crash. Same with the whole crypto market, okay? So, guys, will Bitcoin get to $0? No. Is this the end for Bitcoin? No. Okay. It is never the end for Bitcoin, guys. Bitcoin is here to stay. Okay. Bitcoin and crypto in general, right? It's not going to go anywhere. Bitcoin is here to stay, guys, and it's here to stay forever. Bitcoin is not going to go anywhere. Okay. <clears throat> it's here to stay forever. That's it, right? A lot of people are thinking that Bitcoin could potentially go back down to, back down to zero dollars. No, guys, it will not happen. Okay. It's just really hard for Bitcoin to do that. Okay, it's not even hard. Like that one just never happened. Okay, it just wouldn't, right? So if we look at the Bitcoin chart right now, guys. Okay, we did see a pump right here. Okay, this happened a few hours ago, right? This this pump right here. Okay, these are green candles, right? 
and now it did have in fact now that it did now bounce back up and now it looks like it's having a little dip once again okay so for the next i don't know a few days few weeks right i really do believe bitcoin will in fact okay crash have another dip now right now it's currently at forty two thousand dollars almost forty three thousand dollars right and i feel like <clears throat> in the next few days or few weeks time i feel like bitcoin will in fact um you know have a bottom okay this is not the bottom for bitcoin during this bear market this is not the bottom for bitcoin guys i'm telling you guys this right now bitcoin will in fact dip once again okay have another crash right it's to be expected so <clears throat> i feel like bitcoin will in fact reach maybe thirty thousand dollars bottom that's it or maybe even twenty eight thousand dollars that's the bottom for this bear market and then i feel like after that since that's the bottom bitcoin's gonna break out okay it's gonna have a bounce back up you know what i mean what it did uh, last year right bitcoin was out all the way back down here at forty thousand dollars right just over forty thousand dollars and then boom we had a bounce back up right and then it dipped a little bit once again and then boom it reached a new all-time high of nine over ninety thousand dollars ninety one thousand dollars right so <coughs> guys i feel like that's what's going to happen okay bitcoin's going to have a bottom of maybe thirty thousand dollars or thirty thousand something dollars you know what i mean or maybe 28 just under thirty thousand dollars and then it's going to break out it's going to have another bounce back up okay because i'm telling you guys this right now to be expected for bitcoin to drop again okay but it's not going to go you know all the way to zero dollars okay it's just not it's just not going to go back down here ever again you know what i mean it just it just won't okay so guys i want to show you guys a video okay this is michael saylor we all know michael saylor okay he's obviously really 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 bullish with bitcoin he's always bullish with bitcoin okay and i love michael saylor you know what i mean i really do believe in a lot of the things that he says about bitcoin and if you guys don't know michael saylor right he is the ceo of market strategy he owns market strategy right and market strategy is a company right that pretty much owns over 100,000 bitcoins okay i believe they you know it's to be you know they um own about estimated about you know 130,000 bitcoins right just market strategy itself michael saylor himself probably owns thousands right so that's that guys so you know michael saylor is really bullish with bitcoin okay and i'm with him you know what i mean i'm always bullish with bitcoin guys i told you guys at the beginning i'm always bullish with the bitcoin i'm never bearish okay so i want you guys to watch this full video it's about two minutes but i want you guys to watch the full thing because when i watched it it just it just made sense you know what i mean what marcus sailor had to say so <clears throat> in the suite as you can see he says if bitcoin is not going to zero then it's going to a million okay so i want you guys to watch this full video because i feel like this video is really 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 important okay so just watch this video You've made a significant bet on Bitcoin. So if all of this maturity occurs and if you see all of this flush cash getting wiped out of the system, this, in a sense, leveraged money, could that then be that you see Bitcoin coming down considerably and just not ever reaching any kind of particular lofty height and then you stand to lose quite significantly? We don't see it that way. We actually see it the opposite, which is uh, the big question forever has been... Uh, is is this real and and if it's real is it going to be banned the denier said this wasn't real and of course they're being discredited as the administration and congress and regulators embrace bitcoin and the skeptics have always said well it's real it's better than gold but it's so good it's too good to be true and the government's going to ban it so if the deniers are wrong and if the skeptics are wrong and it's pretty obvious they're both wrong at this point it's not going to zero and if it's not going to zero it's going to a million because it's obvious see what i mean guys if it's not going to zero it's going to a million i told you guys at the beginning of this video bitcoin will never get to zero so it's going to a million pretty much guys and i told you guys this okay many times my price prediction for bitcoin to reach a million dollars is by 2030 less than eight years from now i'm expecting bitcoin to <clears throat> reach a million dollars by the year 2030 okay or even sooner than that maybe 2027 2028 2029 right in any of these years i'm expecting bitcoin to reach a million dollars 100 percent. trust me guys like mark my words it's, it's gonna happen and this is why for the past you know <clears throat> few months guys i've been making a whole bunch of videos and reminding you guys to accumulate at least one single bitcoin like literally if you watch back on my videos and if you even watch my videos you know what i mean if you guys are like og viewers and you've been watching my videos ever since day one you would know i've been literally 
begging you guys to at least accumulate one full Bitcoin because this one full Bitcoin will make you rich. It will make you a millionaire. And of course, it will build you wealth. And of course, you will have financial freedom in a way. Okay. Can you imagine buying one Bitcoin for, you know, $40,000 right now and then it gets to a million dollars? You know how great of a investment that will be in just less than 10 years time? Think about it. Okay. Actually better than gold at everything that gold wants to be. And, and if it was just worth what gold is worth, it'd be 500,000 <coughs> a coin. So I, I really think we crossed the chasm there with, uh, with the bill that was put on, uh, on uh, the Capitol floor today by two senators, a Democrat. See, this is the thing about, sorry for stopping the video guys, but this is the thing about gold. You see, I don't like gold as much. A lot of people, you know, out there do like to invest into gold and I get that. You know what I mean? They like to trade with gold as well. Right, I know a few people that like to trade with gold, but personally, guys, gold, right? Gold has been around for years. Like, look at this. Ever since the 1700s and whatnot, you know, 1800s, 1900s, whatever it may be, right? Gold has been around for a really long time, okay? And, right, gold does not move, you know what I mean? It really doesn't, right? Gold does not move a lot, you know what I mean? Comparing it with, like, Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin has been around for, you know, just about 13 years now, over 13 years, Okay, ever since 2009 and bitcoin is already at tens and thousands of dollars even though yes the market cap for gold is at like what i don't know 10 trillion 11 trillion whatever maybe i don't i don't really know right and bitcoin is at like 800 billion i believe close to 1 trillion right but eventually bitcoin will reach the you know the market cap of where gold is right over time but I'm not a huge fan of gold. It just doesn't move, in my opinion. And Republican. So, I don't invest and, in gold. Uh, and with Janet Yellen's speech at American University April 7th, where she recited the legend of uh, Satoshi Nakamoto and explained why digital assets are critical to the future of the United States, I think now that that's happened, people are realizing that this is a real thing that's going to be oh, with there we us. Go. Micah's strategy held 129,000 in Bitcoin as of March uh, 31st, right? So I was right, right? Hundred and pretty much 130,000 Bitcoins market strategy held, right? The company. And Bitcoin is like it or not, it's unique. <coughs> there really is no network in the world that has its, its level of adoption or its level of security. And if I put $500 billion on the table and gave it to you and said, create another one, you couldn't create another Bitcoin for $500 billion right now. So see what I mean, guys, you, you just can't, you can't create another Bitcoin. Okay. It's not fungible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I'm, I'm very bullish about where we're headed from here. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm bullish as well. This is exactly what I'm trying to say here, guys. Okay. <laughs> Bitcoin will never reach zero dollars it's just impossible guys like it just really is okay i just hate it just really does boggle with my mind when people say oh your bitcoin right it's going to be a rug pull you know what i mean it's going to crash all the way back down to zero dollars it can't okay it just can't right it will never hit zero dollars guys okay it just it just can't okay don't think bitcoin is going to be the next lunar okay it's just not okay stop making these jokes and these assumptions right so you guys heard Michael Saylor, okay, I love this video and I really believed on what he said about Bitcoin, you know, if Bitcoin is not going to zero dollars, then it's going to a million and that's a 100% fact because we all know, okay, most of us all know that Bitcoin will never reach zero dollars, it's just really impossible, like that's just never going to happen, you know what I mean, at this point, if you say that, it's a joke, you know what I mean, so the only way for Bitcoin to go up or down is up guys like over time long term right bitcoin is always going to go up right and it's going to reach a million dollars mark my goddamn words okay so <clears throat> even the new yes guys right for the past few years now okay bitcoin has been really 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 volatile and this is to be expected i told you guys that bitcoin is really volatile same with the whole market right same with the whole crypto market it's really 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 volatile so this is completely normal i'm not panicking i am always bullish guys okay because i know where bitcoin will be heading long term so guys <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed it please give this video a huge thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel in sorry please subscribe to the channel guys um if you guys haven't already and of course guys comment down below okay please comment down below where do you guys see bitcoin 
reaching in 2030? Do you guys see it reaching a million dollars, $700,000? Let me know your personal price prediction for Bitcoin in 2030, right? Less than eight years from now, pretty much. Let me know. I'd love to know. And on that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a blessed day, guys.